You are listening to Drive on TalkSport with me and I'm Darren Bent alongside. Now, TalkSport understands that West Ham have agreed a deal to bring in Julian Lopetegui as their next manager. The owner, David Sullivan, has personally led the pursuit of Lopetegui, whereas sporting director Tim, I think he's pronounced Sturden. Is it Sturden? Stilden? Sturden. Uh, one is a higher sporting Lisbon boss, Ruben Amarim, which is very strange. Mm. Uh, West Ham fans, are you satisfied with this appointment? You can phone up now and we'll get you on in this section. 03717 The obvious question to you, Darren Bent, is what's the point of um, of hiring a sporting director and not listening to him? Yeah, it, it's a bit odd. Um, obviously, there must be a breakdown in communication. That's what it sounds like to me. Um, especially when, is it, it's uh, Sullivan? Yeah. Has gone over his head. <laughs> David yeah, Tullum, yeah, what are you I, I didn't want to obviously so I didn't want to get it's the gold oh, right, okay. wrong. So um <laughs> going over his head to pick who he wants is a bit because why'd you do all the do didn't do Bank on it. Do you know what people said to me? They said, Are you sure you're gonna be right doing two shows? Like <laughs> Virgin or, I mean, I'll be fine, yeah, you won't be tight. No, 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 no. Due diligence, is that right? No, you still haven't got it. Due no, diligence. No, yeah, it. Is, yeah, is that? Yeah, right. So Yeah. So um <laughs> why why employ somebody to do all that and then just go, yeah, well, I don't care what he wants, I'm, we're going for this guy. It, it's, it's nuts, isn't surely it? Surely that sporting director won't last too much longer then. But you, would you want to be there? No. Clearly if your opinion's not valued, but mm. I mean, for West Ham, they, I, I think at the minute, I'm not saying they take anybody, but I think they're just so over da- the David Moyes tenure mm. and especially the way that it's ending as well because like, if he'd have walked, I think if he'd have walked at the back end of last season, I do think West Ham fans would have held him in Higher High regard. regard, without a doubt. But listen, you win a trophy, you want to stay on and, and see if you can do well in the Europa League, right? I, I get that, but when you look at what they've done, and, and I think it's a little bit unfair because yes, they got absolutely walloped by Chelsea. They did get a credible draw against Liverpool, but the story, but the story was almost about Klopp and Salah. So they didn't really get the respect for getting a point against Liverpool. But obviously, getting smashed by Palace doesn't help. I know, but getting I do be- think when I look at West Ham, West Ham, if they get top ten, that's where they are. Yeah, but that's almost like a step backwards because they finished seventh, eighth. Do you know what I mean? They've been in Europe the last three or four years. I know, last three, yeah. Uh, we'll take calls in a moment, 0371722334. First, have a listen to this former Chelsea defender, Scott Minto. Joined Talk Sports Chief Football Correspondent, Alex Crook, and Sam Matterface this morning. He said, Lopetegui's potential appointment at West Ham is not exciting at all. I've got to be honest with you, I'm not overly enamoured by the decision, if that is going to be the decision. But if you look at Lopetegui... Um, very well organised, very well structured, but he's not the anti-David Moyes in terms of what the fans are looking for. And what I would say is what you do get with David Moyes is I think in, in years to come, we'll be looking back as seeing this as a golden period for West Ham. What what do you think? It's interesting. Is this a golden period for West Ham? I mean, you've, you've won a European trophy, right? Yeah. And that's that club don't have a lot of history of winning silverware. No. So if you win it at any level, you are considered, you know, a part of that that golden moment of the club, wherever it is and whatever trophy you've won. When West Ham fans look at their next appointment and it looks like it's going to be Lopetegui, mm. is the expectation levels for the new manager the same? Because realistically, what else can you expect? And I keep saying it's only West Ham and I really don't mean to be rude, but what I mean by that is there's bigger clubs, Man United, Chelsea, Newcastle, Spurs, Liverpool, Villa, Man, they're all above you. Mm. So I think, you you know, we've always said the Premier League is split into two, maybe three leagues. Mm. If it is split into two or three... West Ham are currently top of that second league, if you like. Yeah, we again, and you, you made a good point there because you look back at it, David Moyes taken over from Pellegrini. After it was David Moyes, then Pellegrini, then Moyes again. Mm. He's finished sixth, seventh, fourteenth last season, but won the European Cup, yeah. and they're currently ninth. I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I know it's a, it comes down to the football, but I don't know what more he could have done. No, nor do I for, for that football club. So I think they'll look. He's back made and go, a rod for his own back. That's the problem. He has. I think he will. They'll look back and go, you know what? Once the dust settles and a new manager comes, and they might go, do you know what we? I quite like that period, but it all, certainly the West Ham fans that I speak to, they have just simply had enough of the football that they're watching with the players that they've mm. got. Uh, Joe's a West Ham fan. Hi, Joe. How are you? Yeah. Oh, that's the end of I mean, Joe. I mean, it's standing so promising the way he started that. Yeah. yeah. But that was it. That was it. Joe watched, Joe's probably now going, yeah, what well, I think. And then he's realised that he's put the phone down. Uh, we'll get Joe back in just a moment. The majority of West Ham fans was... Oh, here we go. He's back now. Hello, Joe. Hello. How are you? What happened? Uh, sorry, I tried to turn my radio off because I understand that's what you should do and I accidentally cut the call. Okay, never mind. Well, you're, you are right. That is exactly what you should do, but we've got you loud and clear now, Joe. Good stuff, good stuff. So, um, yeah, obviously I'm a West Ham fan. I just wanted to... I don't know. From my opinion, I think that Moyes has been treated 
pretty disgustingly, really. Um, in, in my personal opinion, I think he's done such wonderful things for for us. Uh, he's certainly the best manager that we've had, had in my lifetime. Um, and yeah, it's just a shame how things have really come to come to an end. But um, yeah, I'm not too pleased with the Lopetegui appointment. Should that happen? Um, well, I don't know. What's your what's your boy's opinion? I, on I, I just think that I know you don't necessarily have managers that are at clubs five and six and seven years now. But with Lopetegui, I just feel that. Even if he's there six months, if he gets a better offer, he's off. I, I don't see him as a long-term appointment. Do you? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't, to be fair. No. Um, and, yeah, I mean, I would have preferred that, that Portuguese chap, uh, Amarim, or, or, or yeah. whatever his name yeah, is. Um, I think I would have preferred him. But, uh, yeah, I mean, look, at the end of the day, we've got to go with what we've got and make the best of it, right? But, yeah, do you know, do you know what, Joe? I'll, Joe, I would have liked to... Uh, when I say, listen, Lopetegui, his pedigree speaks for itself. So, But I would have liked yeah. West Ham, certainly come off the back of Moyes to maybe go for a, like a, a younger coach but someone where he could evolve with the club someone like a Grand Potter where you're both on the same journey kind of together do you know what I mean where yeah. he's grown as a, as a I mean he's done great things at Brighton struggled a bit at Chelsea but him him trying to improve West Ham trying to improve it almost just kind of makes sense yeah yeah I mean I, I could be more upset about it we'll see what happens and as I said we've got to make the best of it right but um yeah, I mean, he's won, won a few things in his lifetime. You don't get to become sort of Spanish and Real Madrid manager at any point if you're no good, right? So mm. we'll, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, that's, that's, that's it from me, really. I what, just wanted to say, but yeah, love the show, gentlemen. Thank you very much. What, what did, just quickly, what do you make of uh, our mate Will, Will Steele? He's just left Ream, hasn't he? Yeah, um, yeah so again, again, that could have been a, a slightly more exciting appointment um, just because it's like delving into the unknown a bit and, and giving someone a chance that hasn't necessarily got a huge name. No disrespect to him. Um, so I think that that would have been quite a nice appointment. But yeah, I'd, yeah. again, I'd, 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 okay. we've just got to make the best of what we've got. OK, Joe, thanks for that. From Joe to Jim, also a West Ham fan. Hi, Jim. Hi, you OK? I'm good. It sounds noisy where you are. Where are you? What are you doing? I'm driving. I'm on a hands-free. OK. Are you safe? Yeah, I'm safe. Good. I'm safe. OK, go on then, Jim. Basically, I was listening to Talk Sport this morning and they were talking about David Moyes, um, how the board had treated him, um, offering up different managers to take over at West Ham and how bad it was. And I was just thinking that he had a contract on the table um, which he could have signed, which he didn't sign. And uh, it's what was the board meant to do apart from go and look for another manager? Yeah, OK, fair enough. But we're also asking whether or not, as a West Ham fan, you're excited about the potential appointment of Lopetegui. Uh, well, yes and no. It's uh, After what's happened in the last few games, it's uh, anything's better than what's happening now, isn't it? Mm. I don't know, is it? Well, I, I would think so. Well, as a West think... Ham fan, where should you be finishing? Well, after last season, you should be finishing in the top six or seven. Mm, top that six? Be your... Yeah, that's the thing. But again, you, you said it earlier, David Moyes created a rush for his own back. Because what by them finishes, last season, you're almost forgiven for finishing 14th because you won the European Cup. This season, now, I mean, you lost to Leverkusen inside that. Wow, what they're doing over there in Germany has been exceptional. Um, so he said top six, right? Mm. That would mean no, it, currently, no Newcastle, Chelsea or Man United. Yeah. Hold on, you're eighth. Why are you, why are you putting yourself in the sixth? No, yeah, but I'm saying they're the clubs above West Ham. Yeah. Do you know what it is as well? You've got to be realistic about it, right? It, it's the way they've gone about their business in the last, say, three Premier League games. When you concede five, you draw yeah, two no and good. concede five against Palace. That's no good. It's like, oh, wow. I know, but it's at the end of the season where nothing's but, really... but, that, but that's what the fans will remember when I it comes know, to David I Moyes. Uh, keep your calls coming in 0371722334. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.